What is up, everybody? Welcome back to For Better or Worse. My name is Nick, joined once again by my co-host, Matt. Thanks for joining us. A lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. Matt, first of all, how are you doing? How's your week going? Tell me a little bit about it. Update me. Life's life's wow. good. Hockey's rolling. Um, appreciate all the new followers and appreciate the support on the YouTube so far. Thank you guys for commenting, liking, subscribing, all that jazz. Please subscribe. It helps us get a grasp of what we're doing. Uh, just helps us out. You know, let's know who's watching, who's doing whatever. Appreciate all you guys so far. Uh, week's going great. You know, cash some lottos. That was cool. Uh, NHL is just going very well. Um, football did okay last weekend too. So trying to repeat that as well. May wait to dabble in basketball, but I see you're, you got that covered pretty well anyway. So no need to do join that. The, join the fun. <laughs> How are you join doing? How is everything? It's going well. Um, I'm already sick of the injury news, the late injury lines. It's making me miss money with FanDuel because, you know, the questionable game time decision, blah, blah, blah. And then the, and then they announce five minutes before the game. And, and then the person I really want, a.k.a. Drew Eubanks tonight, lines never come out. So um, oof, pretty upsetting. Yeah, he's crushing it already, obviously, versus the Hornets. Nonetheless, not going to let that ruin my night because we got a special weekend coming up. Let's talk a little bit about it. I'm coming up to the old shithole that we call New Jersey. So <laughs> you can't call Jersey. Take New York. You live in Virginia. Just want to point that out. Take New York. All right. <laughs> um, go ahead. But tell us a little bit about this tailgate. You know the area a little bit more than me. Where are we staying? Where are we going? What's going down on Sunday morning? Yeah, so before we get into Sunday, um, we are going to the Devils Coyotes game, or Coyotes if you want to be professional about it. On Saturday, if you're in New Jersey and going to the game, feel free to say hi. We should be there on Saturday. But most importantly, uh, we do have a tailgate on Sunday. Uh, we're going to be in the Giants parking lot. Giants Jets share the same stadium, for those of you guys who don't know. If you're in the area, feel free to come by. All the guys are invited. The Flash Picks guys will be there. The Chalkboard guys will be there. Um, some other Twitter guys like Fast Money Labs, Capper Penguin, and other people shall be there with us. McBeth. What? McBeth should be there, too. Yeah, we're going to have some free food. Some drinks, cornhole, uh, you know, can jam, all the little tailgate stuff. Um, so feel free to come by. Um, we're going to be in lot D, I think. Don't quote me on that. We'll get that out there. Just stay tuned. Put the notifications on for the for, for better or worse Twitter account or the Flashbox account. We should have more details coming soon. But, yeah, it should be a good time. Um, I don't think we're going to go to the game, but we're going to tailgate, hang out, and uh, probably go to FanDuel after. Yeah, we're having FanDuel sports. Totally honest. Most likely. Um, just guys being dudes, come along. Um, if you want to hang out, shoot the shit, do some live stuff, or just say hi. Um, if you're in the area and don't want to hang out, just wave, say hi, and leave. I don't care. Whatever works. I think I think there's no better way to sell it than there'll be a couple of guys mm -hmm. in the parking lot drinking beer before a football game that we're not going to. Come join us. Sounds like a great-ass time. Nonetheless, um, it will be fun. A um, lot to do this weekend. I'm already tired thinking about it. Nonetheless, I keep saying nonetheless. All right. <laughs> Let's get right into this. We got a special segment coming up before we get into the Thursday night football game. We are going to talk about top five NFL quarterbacks right now that you would want to win one game. To win one game. Win one game. One game. Now, obviously, this is a little bit subjective because it's like who they're playing. You know, are they good? You know, versus mobile quarterback, versus, you know, passing quarterback, so on and so forth. So many options, so many different scenarios. I'm going to go first, obviously, because I'm going to set the standard. You know, mm -hmm. I have the best list. No, really no point of watching Matt's list. So if you want to fast forward like two, three minutes after I'm done, you can do that. I don't blame you. Nonetheless, I'm going to keep nonetheless. saying nonetheless. All <laughs> Number five. Do I have to say more? Do I have to oh say more? God. No bias if want, here. If you want a the man's got a heart. Now, the man's got a heart. You, <laughs> the man's got heart, bro. That's all I want. It's obvious pick. The fact that I didn't put him number one is because I'm, you know, I'm not playing favoritism. But let's go right into number four. <laughs> Lamar Jackson. He's throwing. I feel like he's throwing a little bit more interceptions, and that offense isn't as great as it usually is. But him as a quarterback. 
first of all, he's on my fantasy team, so I know he's doing well, you mm-hmm. know, overall, because those points just keep racking up every week. I love him. And that's one of the reasons he's got to be on my list because, I mean, the man's just the dual threat quarterback like that. It opens up your playbook. I love it. I love running quarterbacks. Um, really, ever since RG3, how did that work out? Not great after year one. But nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless um, he's still one of my favorite quarterbacks around. Lamar Jackson can get it done any day. Hopefully he gets some better weapons going on. There's a lot lot going on in that offense between roaching out running backs every week, it seems like. Um, but you still have Mark Andrews. Just needs some better wide receiver help, I feel like, overall. Any thoughts on that, Matt? Or Yeah, uh, he, my man needs some help, <laughs> straight yeah. up. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying anything because my list is coming out soon. I can't say anything. That's fine. That's fine. Number three, Jalen Hurts. Um, why I have a number three? Because it's his second It's second year. I'm going to act stupid for a second. His second year. I don't want to yeah. be. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's. right. I'm almost positive. 90%. Um, probably should have looked at before. No problem. He's doing very well. He's got a bunch of weapons. I mean, he's not making mistakes. He is mobile. Like I said before, I love mobile quarterbacks. I mean, if you want to look at my whole list, it's pretty much quarterbacks that are able to be mobile, even number five. Um, I just want to see a little bit more out of them as far as overall season. The strength of schedule hasn't been that great, but again, they're dominating. He's got weapons. He's not making many mistakes. He's putting up a bunch of points. I can't be too mad. Even as a Washington fan, I, I can't. I want to say real quick before people say but, he's been in the league for three years, like his real two oh, years, because he played yeah. like three games or that's what it was. Okay. Four games. In, Thank but you. I, I just know I'm going to get a comment saying like, oh, no, it's fine. I didn't look it up. I, I mean, two years of real playing time. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't pay attention to, you know, Eagle stuff um, that often. So, but you got to give credit where it's due. Jalen Hurts, number three quarterback currently, I would take to win a game in the NFL. Number two, Patrick Mahomes. It's Patrick Mahomes. Come on, guys. I mean, he's still really good. I mean, you, everybody thought at the beginning of the year, they were like, it was a lot of freakouts, a lot of what's going on. It's okay. Just settle down. It's okay. And Cheetah is still really good. They're both good independently. Everybody was like, oh, he's not going to be, you know, Patrick Mahomes not going to be as good. He doesn't have his main weapon. Oh, Cheetah doesn't have, you know, Patrick Mahomes anymore. They're still good independently. They're amazing together. They're amazing independently. Doesn't really matter. So, and number one, Josh Allen. I love the guy. Big quarterback, mobile, strong, um, huge arm, good leadership. They all have good leadership. But I just like how big he is. Um, he can run the ball, and he's got a rocket arm. I just love a big arm to be able to spread that defense, um, take the top off it completely. I hope it's his year. <clears throat> I have some doubts. Um, they look up and down, but it's all, all about who gets hot late. That's really all that matters. You know, you can yeah. go 8-0, for say, and then towards the end, you might lose in the first round of the playoffs. We'll see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm not talking about anybody, but um, Matt. I know you have a list. I went through mine pretty quick. First of all, what do you think of my list? I like it. I see some of the same guys on my list. Obviously, your fifth guy does not belong in the same stratosphere as the other four guys that you named. I mean, yeah, you're right. You should probably be like number one A than oh everybody else. <laughs> I'm just not even going to entertain this. But overall, I like it. Um, um, so I have some guys in different orders and some different guys. But overall, I think it's a pretty solid list. And again, I don't think anyone's opinion's exactly right. Their yeah. opinions, so it's all subjective. How would you run your offense? That that'd be one of my questions. You know, obviously mine's gonna have a running element to the quarterback, a little mobile element on my end. Some, you know, play action pass, some rolling out, some QB options. Who knows? But I have the option to do that with all five of my quarterbacks. It's run the ball. You're right. Um, I agree. Let, let's go into Matt's top five quarterbacks and see what he has to show the world. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with number five. <laughs> uh it's gonna be uh i don't even i'd hate that this guy is here but i couldn't put anybody past him that i truly believe earned it and number five is tom brady i just think right now uh, right now i think there's guys right. that are on the cusp um but they haven't shown me that in a one-on-one game 
that I would take over Tom Brady. Like if I said this, I said this guy to win a game, but the other side was Tom Brady. I'd be like, damn it. There's four guys I put that I think I have confidence, but you last know, week, I, but you know, depending on the roster, like his roster is terrible right now. He sold his soul yeah. to win it, to win a championship. And that's what, you know, that's what happens. A bunch of old wide receivers. He's got the, basically the Lakers of the NFL um, and it's not going to work out. So, but Tom Brady, you know, still, if it's, if it's close down the stretch, I'm going to like where I'm at with Tom Brady. He doesn't make mistakes. I uh, manages the game. Well, he's not going to throw a 60 yard bomb, but he's also not going to throw a lot of interceptions, make a lot of mistakes. I like his, him still at number five. Um, there are some guys that I wanted to put ahead of him. I'm not going to name them right now because that'll ruin the suspense for who you guys think I have over him. Uh, but number four is another old guy as Aaron Rodgers. I think his team sucks. He's got no wide receivers. He won back-to-back MVPs with a good wide receiver one. And just because he has no wide receivers now, I'm not going to say he's not top five. Um, if he still had Devontae Adams, I think he's – the Packers are a lot better. They actually have a weapon. He could still throw the ball. And and I don't look crazy for saying that right now. So I still like Aaron Rodgers um, at number four. Um, other than that, those are the two older guys that I have. The three guys on top of this are younger guys that I think it's the new era. We're officially in that new era for sure. Um, but Aaron Rodgers can still throw it like a monster. Uh, if you want to take this year's sample size, I'm not going to take him off that hill yet. Um, but, you know, maybe next year he's not top five. But as of now, I truly believe he's still a top five quarterback. He just has no help around him and he's struggling. You know, it is what it is. Moving on to number three. Uh, this guy I really want to put higher, but I just can't yet, and that is Lamar Jackson. He is, in my opinion, a top three quarterback in the league. He can run it. He can throw it. The dude has an absolute cannon, but no one talks about it because he's so good with his legs. It's unbelievable. Um, any day of the week, he, you could probably say he's one of the he's the best quarterback in the league, and you have an argument. I'm not saying it's going to be an absolute winning argument, but you're not crazy for saying it. He's a stud. Uh, six and three Ravens right now. He's got to get it done in the playoffs before he can kind of jump these other guys, but he also still has no weapons. He has absolutely no weapons and Mark Andrews, but yeah, but you know, he's good. even then he's still got it done without Mark Andrews. I guess it was a bad, you know, the saints aren't great, but you know, if he gets a good wide receiver and a decent tight end, like if you put him with Patrick Mahomes and have Tyreek Hill, like the last year and Travis Kelsey, who oh, yeah. knows what Lamar Jackson can do. So that's where I'm at with Lamar Jackson, number three. I love Lamar Jackson. He was our uh, player to win MVP before the season started. I still like it. Um, but number three quarterback overall, for sure, for me. Going to number two, this is where it's going to be an argument. Josh Allen Josh is Allen. number two. Obviously, these one and two are interchangeable. Um, you guys definitely know who number one is after this. But Josh Allen, you know, until he can, again, make that leap in the playoffs. But he can do the same thing. He can run it. He can throw it. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Um, still young as well. Uh, but he's the entire package. Uh, in the next couple of years, he'll easily be the face, kind of like the Brady Manning is going to be Alan Mahomes and some other guys thrown in between. But those are going to be the staple guys. Um, Josh Allen, I don't need to say anything else about him. Absolute stud. But number one is Patrick Mahomes. Um, just done more overall in the playoffs. Um, he's, he can't run as well as Josh Allen, but he's still mobile. Um, it's not like he can't do anything. He can definitely break a play to make a play. Uh, but I think he has the best arm for how accurate he is. And it's the type of plays he makes when he's falling down, when he's, you know, on the run, thrown over the shoulder, cross body, he could do it all. Um, so I think he's still number one overall. And even without that Tyreek Hill type wide receiver, if you just have a guy who can catch and run a good route, that's really all you need for Patrick Mahomes, and that's why he's the number one in the league. But either way, if you want to interchange these guys at the top, I'm not going to you know, go crazy arguing with you, but that's my top five. Yeah. Um, I would say I would ask you what offense are you trying to run with all these five? You know, I had a theme, at least. I tried to stick. My, mine feel, feels like I could have kept the same quarterback. Nonetheless, you, know, you got Heineke some young not- guys. Is not in the same system. <laughs> Look, number six was Geno Smith, so watch out, dude. That was number six. Oh for my me. lord! <laughs> Just I saying. would say six for me is Justin Herbert. That was my sixth. He didn't make the cut yet. Um, but what about Jalen Hurts? I think he's good. 
I think Her Herbert's better, but Herbert and Hurts both have had the benefit of having great weapons when they're young. And Jalen Hurts has the best roster out of anyone else, I think, in the league. So I think he's a great quarterback, but I don't think he's <laughs> top five yet. He can be when it's all said and done at the end of this year or maybe next year, but as of now, I don't think he's earned it yet. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, let's see. I mean, let us know. Sorry. Let us know real quick what your top five is in the comments. Yeah, I, I want to see, see it. it. Yeah, I want to see, see it. it. I'm interested to see. And obviously, go roast Matt's top five because it's awful. Mine, you don't have to say anything. Just agree. If you I see it. Joe Burrow in the comments, you're, I'm, not, I'm not reading the rest. I'm not reading the rest if you put Joe Burrow as top five quarterback. I will read the rest. Right. I will read the rest. Twice. <laughs> I'll, read it, I'll read it twice so that way it evens out. So you're welcome. All right. Don't worry about Matt. Big Ben Matt's not going to mess with you. But we got a game tomorrow. Another beautiful primetime game. I swear, they make the best primetime games. I'm so happy for this game. <laughs> Falcons, Panthers, Thursday night football. <laughs> Both quarterbacks have uh, over-under in the 160s for passing yards. It's going to be awesome. Um, the over-under is at like 40 right now or something. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. You can, you can just feel it. Um, oh. All right. Um, enough of that. I, I just think at these like preseason meetings when they're making the schedule, they're like, let's see how many bad primetime games we could just throw on Thursdays in a row before anyone notices. Or like, let's throw a Falcons Panthers. Even before the season started, like, why was that ever an option? You think I want to watch Mariota Mayfield? Not even Mayfield's not starting now, but when they made the, the schedule, or even like Darnold, like I just don't understand. What even if it was Matt Ryan on the Falcons? Like I don't know what the thought process is here. Look, dude, I'm over it. I'm absolutely over it. I don't understand myself. It's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't get it. But I guess these teams got to play at some point, right? Let's throw them in a prime time. That way, people, you know, it's nice and fair. Everybody gets to see the shitty teams. Yeah, no one's watching them during the weekend. <laughs> so I guess like, I don't only thought. Um, but I do – I have a fun play. I know you have a lean at this point. First of all, I was thinking about – I kind of want to take the Falcons minus three. Maybe it creeps down to two and a half. We'll see. It opened up at three and a half, at least on FanDuel. Um, but I kind of want to take that. Nonetheless, I'm not very excited no matter what, so I'm going to try to make the best of it. Fun play. Patterson touchdown and the Falcons to win for half a unit at plus 220 on FanDuel. He's played in five games so far this year. He's scored five touchdowns in four games. So his touchdown alone, just so you guys know, is plus 115. Is that a safer play? Obviously, you take out a leg on the parlay. But for a fun play, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Plus 220. It's only 0.5 units. You can, If anything, go down to 0.25. Let's not go crazy here. Um, but it's, it's. I think it's a fun play that's – Realistic. What are, what are your thoughts on the play overall? Yeah, fun fact. I, I love Cord uh, Cordero Patterson. He was a great pickup in last year's fantasy, um, yeah. and he I absolutely got killed by him every week. This year, <laughs> you know, he's still doing well. Um, but, you know, in the five games he's played, they're two and three, and he scored in both wins. So, you know, I guess you could say they go hand in hand. Uh, but he scored almost every game. So uh, they did beat the Seahawks and the Browns. Um, and he scored, and he had 141 rushing yards in the one game. Uh, only 38 yards in the other game. That was kind of an ugly game against the Browns. The thing that interests me about this game is that it really means nothing for the Panthers, but it means almost everything for the Falcons. So it makes me want to lean the Falcons for sure. Um, the Falcons are 4-5, and five, and they're tied for the division lead with the Bucks. So not like they probably expected to be in this position. They probably expected to be 4-5 and five at the best, but probably not tied for the division. So... Yeah. Um, the Saints lost, and, and, and now the Saints are now three and six. So if you know they win, they could you know be in the division lead and sole position of it. So it's a big game for them. And against PJ Walker and the Panthers, what a better way! Uh, they have to have all the confidence in the world. So I definitely lean the Falcons. I think they're a better team. I like Mariota. I don't love them, but you know, battle of QBs. I'm picking him every time. And you know, Cordell Patterson, he's an absolute workhorse. He's a stud. So I like yeah. him. I know you wanted to lean another way as well. You're all about leaning tonight. Um, yeah. 
this one seems like a fun play as well. Something you probably should just do 0. 0.5 or less or something like that. But why don't you walk me through this real quick? <laughs> yeah, so Thursday you, games, we know. There's some punters, dude. You have a problem. You have a problem. Hey, they're people too. They're people too. Okay, um, that's fine. You don't have to bet deserve, on them. They deserve more respect. <laughs> And long snappers, they're also people as well. But uh, I like I like the lean over eight and a half punts. Um, if you actually look at their stats, uh, shout out team rankings for this. Um, Carolina is tied for fourth most punts per game at five. Um, and Atlanta is down the list in 20th at 3.8. You have an average of 8.8 .8 punts per game. But it's Thursday. I'm thinking it's a little bit of an ugly game. Over under set at 42, I think is what it's at. I like the punts here. I think the way we miss is if these quarterbacks make mistakes and turn the ball over is honestly what I'm thinking. I just don't – I want to root for something. I think if I'm going to see punts, I might as well try to make some money off of it. So that's my lean. I hate this game as a whole. I will probably have a same game parlay out later on after more lines come out. Uh, but as of now, I like this as a lean. Don't go crazy. But if you want it to pay for your beer that night, maybe – why don't you have at it is basically what I'm going to say. I I mean, plus money, which it gets my attention. I'm always a fan of plus money. Um, and you're right. If it's going to be shit, you know, let's, let's lean into the shit. Um, really get yeah. all over bodies. <laughs> Rub it all over us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not miss a crack. Um, yeah. That's your lean for the day. <laughs> I mean, it is a play. Where'd you find that line? Just so everybody, if they uh, draft Kings. Okay. Honestly, so it popped out in my face. It literally was saying, take me. Okay. <laughs> if you're crazy enough like Matt to bet that, it's on DraftKings, guys. Anything else? We So we're going to have a live episode on uh, Saturday, and we're going to pre-record it together on Sunday with Austin Props uh, as of right now for Sunday's NFL slate. Um, so look forward, that, look forward to that on Saturday and Sunday. Matt, is there anything else you want to add for today? Uh, no, uh, make sure to comment in your top five uh, quarterbacks. I'm really interested in just seeing what the average sports fan and like these guys who watch a lot, like I want to see what the consensus is. Uh, I want to see what the average five is. Like I'm going to probably look at all of them and like see whose name I see the most. So I'm maybe and Josh Allen. You'll see that. Yeah, But I want to see the three to five. I think that's yeah. where you're going to see some interesting stuff. So maybe yeah. we'll post it later or our favorite one. If we get a favorite one that we both agree on, Maybe we'll post that out for fun. If it's not um, Heineke, we're not going to agree. So. Oh, my goodness. Please don't. I better not see Heineke's down there. Um, you all know what to do. Hit it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Heineke if you're around up. on Sunday, come through. Uh, we'll have more updates later on in the week. And that's it. Yeah. Guys, bet responsibly as always. Thank you once again for joining us. And we'll see you on Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern time. Deuces. Peace.